each year it's, it seems like it's, it's getting worse and it's, it's crazy. Growing concerns in Old Brooklyn tonight. A 16 year old is dead, stabbed in broad daylight. It happened at the intersection of Pearl and Gifford, just blocks from the library branch where another teen was shot and killed in July. News 5's Emily Hamilton spoke with people who witnessed that stabbing. They say they no longer feel safe living in their own neighborhood. A grieving community already paying tribute to the teen who was stabbed just outside of this gas station. Now that makes two teenagers violently killed within the last two months, less than half a mile apart here in Old Brooklyn. Classmates in Cleveland police still asking why. Yeah, it was actually just children, you know. You know, the future haven't even started yet. James Gibney works at the Seneca gas station where all the commotion started. A group of kids came inside the store and they started yelling, screaming, and we trying to figure out what's going on. Well, we seen someone uh, fighting outside. Paramedics performed CPR on the 16 year old who had been stabbed in the chest. The teen later died at the hospital and Cleveland police have not identified the boy. Giovanni Carrillo is a classmate of that stabbing victim and says whatever the teens were fighting over wasn't worth someone ultimately losing their life. It's, it's all little petty stuff. It, it really is. It's it's stuff they really shouldn't be fighting about. Carrillo has lived in Old Brooklyn for more than a decade now and says lately he fears for public safety more than ever. We have a school right here. There's another school right here. There's two more schools down here. There's a school down the street. It's, of course there's going to be kids walking by. The owner of Urban Cuts Barber Shop here on the corner tells us they do have surveillance cameras and have already turned all of that footage over to Cleveland police. No word yet from police on any arrests made in relation to this stabbing. Reporting in Old Brooklyn, Emily Hamilton, News 5.